required education background. Today's episode of Women in Business, we focus on just how to start and run a business without having these preconditioned skill sets. I'm Awara Dongo and this is Women in Business. My name is Winnie Maina. I'm the MD of uh, Jalad Clinic. It was started in January 2022. Yeah, so basically what we do, we deal with general dermatology conditions, that is skin and hair. We also have an aspect of reconstructive medicine as well as cosmetic surgery. What's the importance of conducting market research to any business out there? Um, market research basically gives you an insight of um, the product, the services that you're going to offer, where exactly it's, going, it's coming to sit in in the population. Remember, there are still people who have gone ahead with the service or the product that you, you're offering. What's going to be? different is that is it actually viable right and when it comes to drafting a business plan what are the important factors to consider so that you ensure your business plan is a seller business plan i'll say there's a strategy first of all you have being the founder or the person starting the business you the vision bearer of this business so the strategy comes in what exactly um, do you wanna do? Um, who is gonna be your client? Uh, then you segment your client. Where are they? Uh, what is their buying uh, capacity that they have? Uh, again, we come to where is the location? Which are the tentative location that you're looking at? And uh, lastly, do you have the funds to keep you starting and kicking out the project yes what challenges are there within this um, business setup and how does one face them or overcome them it's it's growing it's not flooded yet the only challenges or what i would say the dynamics are it kept it keeps evolving there's a lot of research that is being put into aesthetic industry so we'll have a, a line of service or a particular technology being able to solve a problem now but in next year something new has come up so it, it's growing and then again uh, the involvement also includes the personnel of practice previously it was cut for maybe dermatologists cosmetic surgeons but right now we find it even in dentists uh, nurses even um, uh, recently the beauticians just that they are able to stay within the line of uh, regulatory authorities. So it's evolving, it's uh, a go-to-go -go place, and then the project is gonna be big. In your opinion, where do you see the aesthetic industry in Kenya in the next 10 years? 10 years, um, I project um, a space whereby we'll be almost at part the practice of conventional medicine. Reason being, if we look at our history, maybe around 2010, we probably had nine to 10 plastic surgeons in the country. Come to, um, uh, I mean, they are growing. In the recent um, survey, there were around 19. We have more in school. Something else that is happening is that the technology and safety margins of these procedures have remarkably increased. Uh, something else I've seen is that uh, people are willing to pay. There's an increase in disposable income. Not forgetting the trends, like the Gen Z right now, they are growing up, uh, maybe associating with figures in the social media. There is that aspect of a person that they look up to. What advice do you have for other women out there who'd like to venture in business and especially the aesthetic industry? I'm lucky to have been in the medical industry. But that, that doesn't maybe not allow you to invest in the same kind of business. But if you have the business and entrepreneurial skills, you can always hire a skill. But one thing I would like to highlight, make sure you have the passion. Because the dynamics of business or the particular business you're going to invest in 2022 is different from now where we are in 2023 and the projections of 2024 will probably be different so this will require you to put a lot of energy time just to understand where your business is coming from where it's going yes and it's it's doable thank you so much for your insight and for our viewers my take home is that for one to start and run a successful business, one, you need an idea, 
and then you need to do market research and you need to draft a brilliant business plan and also identify your source of finance. My name is Award Ongo and it's been wonderful having you on today's episode of Women in Business. Until next time, goodbye.